Welcome to this screencast tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to register our Telegram account anonymously by buying a SIM from virtualsync.net. Firstly, you need to create your account. So come here, put your details, and then select the currency as Bitcoin. You may need to fill your uh, username. So select your username and then put the captcha and proceed. Since I already have my account, I'll just simply log in. Now go to main page and select the plan that you want. I am going to select dedicated sim for entire year from Ukraine. So let me just do that. Now I have to pay $21. So I will be paying from my Bitcoin wallet. So I will just select that. You need to add uh, the transaction ID here. So go to your wallet do the payment and get the transaction ID so you have to put the address here then the details and the amount here and after you have like pasted it do the payment Since I have already done the payment, I will just simply fetch the transaction ID from here. I will copy it. Then I will paste it here. So I will just go back to the page where I have already done the payment for you. So as you can see, the payment has been done and it's trying to fetch the details. So it may take around 20 to 40 minutes to for your payment to process. Uh, so I'm just going to pause the video now and we'll continue after the payment has been successfully processed. Now the payment has been processed successfully. We'll click on refresh now. And as you can see, we have been assigned a phone number. Now we have to go to panel. So click on panel. So your number is this. So you have to click turn on in order to get the SMS because this is a dedicated SIM and it will only send or receive SMS after you've turned it on. You got to wait some time for it to turn on. It took me around around uh, 10 minutes to get it on. Uh, it might be sooner for you. So no worries. In the meantime, let's just download the memo uh, emulator. You can use any emulator of your choice, but I'm going to use Memo because I'm on Windows right now. Uh, there are other variants for different OSs. Uh, so, yeah. But if you have any doubt, just simply create a Windows uh, emulator, uh, Windows Virtual Machine, and then just install this emulator on there. After download, we're going to install it. Just simply follow the process that is being shown. Reject any other uh, requirement that they have asked for, uh, like uh, browser and uh, 360 antivirus. It will take some time. Uh, let's continue the video after it has installed. After it has installed, just click on launch now and we're going to launch the memo play. Now we have successfully installed the memo emulator. Go to Google Chrome, uh, accept and continue, no thanks. Uh, now we are going to download the Telegram APK directly from the telegram.org website. Okay, so search Telegram app and we are going to show you the first uh, link. Click on that, then scroll down and click on download Telegram. This is going to download the APK for you in your uh, Memo Play app. So simply click on uh, install. 
it is going to ask you like uh, to uh, install from unknown sources so go to settings and allow google chrome to install that and uh, once it's done it's going to install the application Now after it's installed click on open you will be asked to like uh, get your uh, message registered so you have to put your phone number here so let me just put the phone number by copy pasting make sure you are putting the correct uh, country code now you will be receiving an sms in your portal of virtualsmooth.net let's just wait for the sms to arrive you might see it in russian but since i have already enabled google translate i will see the message directly in the english language here uh, just wait the message will come very shortly yeah i have to have refresh it to get the message so our OTP is seven four eight four eight. Well, we have successfully registered. Uh, I'm skipping the process of adding name and stuff. Uh, so I've added a contact for us already. So first let's go to setting. Go to the menu. Settings. Uh, scroll down, go to privacy and security. And scroll down further, go to phone number. Uh, by default it would have been in everybody uh, but uh, let's do it to nobody nobody can see our phone number now now uh, we have to enable a passcode so go to passcode and click on enable passcode put a four digit pin of your choice remember this password because if you forget all your messages will be lost that you have created in the encrypted way so yeah you can see if disabled chat content will be hidden and the task feature but you won't be able to take screenshots in the application so let us just leave the show content as, as it is i'm not going to change that now let's come back uh, go to our contact i'm only added this uh, contact of mine this is my other phone number now click on the name click on menu and you will see that uh, start a secret chat option so once you start a secret chat as you can see it will be user end to end encrypted it will leave no trace on our servers that means telegram won't save your messages uh, you may might have a self destruct timer and uh, forwarding will be disabled so let me just send a hi send without sound yeah send without sound now I'm going to reply to this message from my phone as you will see you will receive the message back see it's typing and as you can see there is a lock enabled right hello so you are not going to receive the okay I've added it by diff mistake in the archive let me just take it back of the archive long press on it and go to menu and archive okay now as you can see we have received the hello message now let's go and change the self-destruct timer by default it is off so let's make it around four seconds for an example now let's go back and send the sms So 
in four seconds this will be just snapped away like Thanos. Ah, cool, right? So let's just change it back to a practical uh, message a second so that we will be able to like prolong the message a bit longer to read it. Um, 30 seconds might be the ideal time I guess okay so now we have set it to 30 seconds so after 30 seconds the messages will be deleted now we already also can send the message directly to the contact in an unencrypted way if you want to like chat normally so yeah let's just check that as well I'm sending a hi to my phone number again now as you can see the message has been sent and we have two different chats with the same phone number one is encrypted other is not now as you can see here is a lock on the top side right if you click on that it is going to lock your telegram and then you have to like put your pin to unlock it right so yeah now suppose uh, you close the application of the telegram and you come back if you have not locked it uh, so like locking it again and opening telegram so when you reopen the application is going to ask your passcode so you have to like put your passcode in order to go get back inside now if you want it to like uh, auto lock within like minutes or so go back to settings scroll down to privacy and security uh, pass lock put in your pin again and we are going to change the auto lock to one minute so if not in use it is going to auto lock in one minute yeah so that's that we have a successfully like registered telegram and we have enabled a secret chat with our contacts so that's it for this video if if you like this video please remember to like share and subscribe to our channel so that we can bring this kind of videos to you every month thank you